oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the god's ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane, quickly. Wait, wait, wait. There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. One touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? Patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way's just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. This is your territory, Bellara. Just go slow. I'll be careful. I'll keep this Fade Tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gilanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gilanane, snatch the god's dagger and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. work. Thanks. Be careful. The gods might know we're here now. That is a certainty. <laughs> Laura! The Elvin are a scattered people, but fret not. I shall bring your mage gently back into our fold. You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elganon and Gilanane are still on the island. If we move fast, we might get Bellara back. Damn it! Hold on, Bell! The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. We can divide their attention. Good idea. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Harding and the others keep out of sight and get Lacanis to the ritual. He kills Gilane, and then we save Bellar. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganon's almost completed the dagger. Where's Gilane? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gilanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... And then, Elgernon. We'll hold Gilanane's attention until Lucanus has a clear shot. Good luck, Harding. Like we said, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gilanane.
loyal to that thing for his own fears. Oh, my God. 
Let's end this. We have to find Harding. Gillen ain't took her earlier. <laughs> like Solus. You had your chance, each one of you. And we don't owe you a thing. Regret this. 
The dagger! Rook! You must break its contact with Gilanade! your victory. You live. Gelanane does not. Are you not proud? You finally reached this moment. Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <laughs> That dragon raised Minrathus. Where were you? No one's retreating. We'll all die. You and your friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Solus! But mortals cannot win this battle. Sorry, it is what must be. I did everything for you, Rook. You're worthless. Varric never believed in you. You are no leader. You were never up to it. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Ballara. Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. It was your fault. Your fault. Regret. Like all emotions, is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. But such a prison can hold any captive. Even you. No. You were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. But through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Varric. Your work is done. This is where we talked when I was dreaming. But I'm not dreaming. to be some way out of here. Just have to find it. I have to get back to the team. Swap places with me, but there's more to it than that. Hey, kid. 
Solas found a way out. Now you need to find yours. Tharek? He's not here. Of course he's not. So, how do I get out? Solas said this prison was built to hold gods. Built to hold gods. And locked with regret. I'm sorry to make you sad, but I told you the enchantments were dangerous. You chose me anyway. You picked me to die. We had to get those wards down. I made a choice. I live with the choices I make, the successes and the failures. We all believed in what we were fighting for, what we're still fighting for. And Belara knew what it might cost. She did, kid. We all did. Because you always chose the hard truth over the easy lie. Zolus, on the other hand. Everyone's a pawn. Allies, even friends. He'll sacrifice them without a thought. Isn't that what pawns are for? Odding. Whatever it takes. Your words, weren't they? And you were right. You gave so much to all of us. We started this fight together, Rook. You, me, Nev, Varric. And every day you've kept that fight going. Even when the rest of us couldn't. Everything for the team brought us together, held us together when no one else could. Not once. So how could I? Take care of the team for me. That's what Varric told me. And we were more than just a team. We were friends. But now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. Stop Elganon. Stop Solus save the world. I'll make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. Now, what about mine? to see there. I think you already know. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, 
You can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You need to listen! Can't be dead, Varric. You've helped me so much. Told me what to do when I didn't know. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you. But you did, Rook. You did all of this without me. Because you died. Yeah. Sorry about that, kid. I failed you, Varric. How do you figure? If I'd been faster, or had a different plan, a better one. Ah, bullshit. Haven't you learned anything from this place? I made the choice to talk to him, to try to reach him, even knowing the risks, because he was my friend. My decision, my sacrifice, and you don't get to take that from me. But every story's got an ending. This one just came a little earlier than I'd planned. I'm gonna miss you, Varric. Gonna miss you too, kid. But you've got your own story to finish. I just know the ending's going to be killer. What happens now? To you? I'll disappear. Go back to just being a memory. Right. Hey, don't get all misty-eyed on me, okay? I had a good run, and I don't regret a second of it. What about Solus? I would have said you can talk to him. Get him to listen. But I tried that, and, well, we know how that went. You're going to have to fight him. Because if he doesn't end the world, doesn't restore the ancient magic, then he's not the misunderstood hero, fighting for the greater good. He's just someone who's hurt a lot of people. And he'll never let himself be that. So how do I get out of here? Listen to your team. Like you always do. This way. It's thinner here. Gotta be right. They're waiting for you. Just take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Varric. And thank you. Rook! Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. You already have everything you need. There! 
A light! We've got something. Get ready. I am Elganon, first of the firstborn, last of the Evanuris. Come to reign over you with fine and gentle hand. Citizens of Minrathus, give yourself to me. Together, we shall unleash magic so glorious, so limitless, that all the world will be transformed. He seized control of the Archon's palace? While the Magisterium was in full session, only the Venatori seemed to have survived. How were the Shadow Dragons? Still fighting, last we heard. But Elganon's blighted the city, and the Venatori magically sealed the gates. No one's getting in or out. Even the city's Alluvians went dark. We've got no way to contact the Shadow Dragons. They'd be dead already if not for Solus. Solus? He got to Minrathis just before the gates were sealed. He saved some civilians and killed some Venatori. Now people are rallying behind the Dreadwolf, like he's the only one who can save them. He'll save them from the Blight or die trying. He's not lying about that. Though I doubt anyone rallying to the Dreadwolf's banner knows that he plans to drown the world in demons once Elganon is dead. He can't hurt Elgernon yet. That archdemon makes him invulnerable. Right. Solus needs to kill it first. And once that's done, Solus goes for Elgernon with the dagger he took from us. That's why we need to get to Solus first. He's not going to be happy when he sees you've escaped from his trap. That's his problem. He's got the dagger, and the dagger's the only thing that can kill Elgernon. We need to get it back. We did attempt to create a dagger to replace the one Solus took. Nice to look at, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So it cannot kill Elgernon. Looks real enough. But it is not. We don't have the right weapon to take down our target, and we lost too much killing Gilanane. We have no idea where Belara is or what Elgernon is doing to her. And Harding is... she's gone. Bellara would never forgive us if we let an elven tyrant conquer the world. And Harding always believed we should take the shot. They believed in this team. They trusted all of us. They aren't here to finish the fight. But we are. Get a message to anyone who's still out there. Tell them we're gonna stop Elganon, and we need their help to do it. Then fix up your gear and take care of any unfinished business. In the morning, we take back Minrathus. Are you certain you're all right, Brooke? You know, for the first time in a while, I really am. You needn't carry this burden on your own. The rest of us will send word to our allies. You must take care of yourself in the meantime. We'll speak again soon.
Keep expecting Harding to come by and laugh about something. She had the best laugh. Yeah. I'll take care of her garden. She'd want someone to pull weeds and water stuff. And you were right. She'd also want us to finish the job. So just say the word. I'm ready to find out how to make Elgernon burn. Thank you all for coming. If we don't stop Elganon today, our world is either dead or blighted. So we keep fighting until the job is done. It's gonna be hard. There's no guarantee any of us will make it. We're with you, Rook. Elganon dies today. Whatever it takes. Strife. News? Our scouts confirm Elgernon is inside the Archon's palace. There's a giant tendril of blight tethering it to the Divine's Manor in Hightown. Then that's our goal. Reach the city walls and get to that tendril. Emmerich, can we count on more much support? The Watchers, living and otherwise, will stand with us. Every remaining Grey Warden will be there too. No other crow will let you steal all the credit, Rook. We're with you. And the Lords of Fortune will be there. For gold and glory. The Veil Jumpers have been in this since the beginning, and will be there for the end. Solus is our first target. Without his dagger, we can't kill Elkadon. Our scouts last spotted him working with the Shadow Dragons in the western section of Hightown. Okay, we go in through Hightown. How? Minrathus was built to fight off an army, even before Elgonar reinforced the defenses. Every gate will be guarded. Worse than that. Our scouts reported that the Venatori sealed all the gates with those damn boarding crystals. Can the Veil Jumpers disable them? We've lost people but we'll do what we can. It won't go quickly. You may need magical assistance, or someone to protect you as you work. Nev, I want you helping the Veil Jumpers. You've got it. The Venatori at that gate will be commanded by a war mage. That's how they usually operate. If we get rid of the commander, the rest of the Venatori will scatter. Can the crows cut the head off the snake? We'll do what we have to. There's gonna be a lot of guards between you and her. The lords can clear you a path. And one of us should be there as well. Tosh, you're with the crows. Yes. One last thing might give the crows some trouble. There's a massive construct tall enough to crush buildings. It's guarding the main gate. I've heard rumors. A golem constructed of bone. Controlled, I'm afraid, by a traitorous Navaran necromancer. We're gonna need our heaviest forces against that giant bone. Evka, 
The Grey Wardens are the closest thing to an army we've got left. We'll do what we can. The Morn Watch will lend its aid, but against my former colleague's undead monstrosity, we'll require further assistance. Rook? Davrin, you're with the Wardens. Nowhere I'd rather be. Emmerich, Bucanis, you're with me. We make a run at the gate, get inside, and find Solus. The rest of you get to the Blight Tendril. Once we've got the dagger, we'll meet you there and take the fight to Elganon. I believe in this team, in all of us. So let's get it done. We go on my signal.
fear the Davrin and strife. I know. Come on. We need to push forward. Dark spot ahead. Take him down. <laughs> Let's find Solus. The reports say he was helping the Shadow Dragons. The Shadow Dragons will soon find Solus. Our Lady of Victory. I doubt she feels victorious now. More Dark Spawn, be ready. Accompanied by Venatori. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
well. It's an atrocity. fire was magnificent, but it wasn't enough. It will be time to mourn once the battle is over. I will take them and return to the Crows. They will need support in fighting through Hightown. Go, find Solas and get the dagger. He is there, not far ahead. Harsh. A lot of people laying down their lives today. Come on. Taya's right. There'll be time to mourn later. It gets more blighted the farther we go. Evidently, it could be even worse without Solus assisting the Shadow Dragons. Fix this city. Tarquin, I am so sorry. It should have been me. I didn't see it coming, and he... It should have been me. Stay with Tarquin. I'm going to talk to Solus.
You are as surprising as ever. Even I could not have escaped that prison for you to manage it. Larik believed in me when nobody else did. He was a good man. He was always there for me. Except that he wasn't. Because you killed him. What happened at the ritual site? I know what happened! I remember the truth now! You did something to my mind to make me keep seeing him! Yes. I was wrong to do so. You feeling bad about stabbing me in the back is not my problem right now. I have a city to save and a god to kill. Agreed. I betrayed you because I believed that only I could save this world. But I have failed, Rook. I have not stopped Elganan. I have not even defeated his archdemon. The victories that have been won since Elganan and Gilanane escaped are yours, not mine. If we are to save this world, we must work together. I wish I could believe you, Solas. I know I have earned your skepticism, but do you not believe that I wish to see the world free from Elganan's rule? I do, but then what? As soon as Elganan is dead, you finish your ritual and drown us all in demons. If joining me and stopping Elganan requires the veil to stay in place, then I will pay that price unflinching. I swear by my own foolish pride, by love for friends I failed and hurt, by everything I ever held as sacred. I will leave the veil untroubled. It will never come down by my hand. Now, if you will come with me, I can show you what has prevented me from reaching Elganan. And you can tell me your plan. Trying to get to the Divine's Manor in the center of the city. And the Blight Temple connecting to the Archon's Palace. Yes, I thought the same. But some intelligence guides the tendrils. It has prevented me from getting closer. There's a large force arrayed against us ahead. Let us see if they've heard the legends of the Dreadwolf. Darkspawn!
threaten this world no longer. Set to direct the blight. We are not far from it. Beyond the blight, there. Do you feel it? The blight reacts to my presence. There. That must be the source of whatever intelligence guides it. If you can destroy the mind guiding the blight. We may be able to reach the palace. I can accompany you no further. My presence will only draw the blight to you. Final blow must be yours. I can think of no one better to wield this. I thought I'd have to fight you for that dagger. 
Then this has been a day of surprises for us both. Good luck. When next we meet, let us be standing over Elganon's body. Solus takes down the Archdeacon. That makes Elgin unmortal. We kill him with the Lyrian Dagger. First, we must find a way to free Valara. <laughs> you out of there. Elora is gone. There is only the will of Elgernon. Giver of life.
Free now. You're safe. None of us are safe. Once Elgernon is dead. Wait! You can't kill Elgernon yet. If you do, watch out! I'm not missing a chance to visit the Archon's palace. And I found a friend. Apologies for missing the War Council. We got inside the city with the Veil Jumpers. It gave us a chance to finally strike back at the Venatori. Whatever you did unblocked entrances to the Divine's Manor. It also destroyed some of the Blight. It'll come back. I can still feel it. I don't think I'm the only mage he used like this. Galar, you're alive. Rook freed me, but I learned things when I was in that blight eruption. We need to talk. We will, but first we need to get you to a healer. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Just want to check on everyone else coming in. <laughs> While we still have time. Those who fell in our fight lie in the next room. They will be taken to grave or pyre once our battle has ended, as their beliefs dictate. For now, they wait, and we attend them. If you wish to pay your respects, please enter.
your dance. What else? When this is done. He was in my head the whole time. It was like I wanted to help him. Mierda. I'm sorry. He's filled with the blight, and I think I am too. Rook. You're not dead yet. And as long as you're still alive, there's hope. For now, hang on. We'll see if there's a way for the Wardens to help you once Elgernon is dead. No, you can't. That's what I needed to tell you. When Elgernon was in my mind, I was kind of in his too. I could feel him. His mind, his magic, his life force. It's tied to the veil. His life is the only thing holding the veil in place. I felt the veil weaken when Gilanane fell. I expect that when Solus imprisoned the other gods, he bound them all thus. And now that Elganon is the only one left... If we kill him, the veil collapses. Which is why Solus gave me the dagger. He swore to me that the veil wouldn't fall by his hand, knowing the whole time it would fall by mine. His betrayals are creative. I'll give him that much. We still have to kill Elgonon. So what can we do? Can we tie the veil to something else to keep it in place? For an enchantment like that, we'll need a specific substitute. The veil was made to be tied to the ancient elven gods. Then let's tie it to Solus. He's the only elven god left. Binding him will require drawing his blood with a lyrium dagger. And I doubt he's going to like the idea. I can be very persuasive, but it will be risky. What about this? A counterfeit dagger. Interesting. Once Elganon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. An elegant solution. Provided you are cunning enough to outsmart the Dreadwolf. It all comes down to what happens once you take down Elganon. Whatever you decide, Rook, you have our support. All right. We can deal with Solus when the time comes, but we still need to stop Elganon first. He's in the palace above us. We'll climb the Blight Tendril to get there. Once Solus takes down the Archdemon and renders Elganon mortal, we hit him with everything we've got. Yes, we do. Time's running short. Stock up on supplies, pay your respects, and say goodbye to the people you love. Be ready to go when I signal. Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. I could be of assistance, if needed. I'm going up there. I owe Elganon for what he did. You go to face a guard, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed.
Emmerich, they could use you on their side. I shan't disappoint. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best.
folks fighting down below. They're doing their job. We need to focus on reaching the throne room.
The throne room. Knowing Elganon, we'll find him there. Rook! You made it. Elgrenon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight?
such arrogance, thinking you can hide from your creator. And I am this world's creator. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. You mistake discipline for cruelty, a failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane. My brilliant sister would have forged the blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you.
dragon thrall lives, I am invulnerable. Yet still you fight. Pathetic.
understand that none may stand against me. Those who try, stand alone. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. 
Done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganan and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... <laughs> Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. The veil's not coming down on my watch.
It is over. You could never stand against me alone. If you will excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch. Just my blood on that dagger. No! You are never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. Is done at far too high a price. <laughs>